Hello everyone, it is your boy Gaming Man is here today with more Batman Arkham Asylum. And as you can see, I wanted to get straight into it. And today will be a very uh, slow paced uh, walkthrough because today I want to do more of the tapes and the talking to people and the spirit of Armadale's Arkham. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to transition to any that I've missed, and then transition to next, to next, to next. And then the last one will be, well, the last one, and that will be how I end the video. If she still got Gordon with her, he could get hurt. Okay, done. The Batmobile is still parked up outside the intensive treatment building. So it seems we're gonna have to go get Batman's island. car because it's under attack. Like your car. Thanks, Oracle. All right, so the Batmobile's here, and we are here, and there is a tape. Take patient interview. Subject has no recording name. Alias listed as the Joker. In the room is Warden Sharp and myself, Doctor Young. Oh, is this another one of those boring psych evaluation tests? No, it's not. So, you're the famous Joker. In the flesh. So, Doc, do you want me to look at the ink blots again? The first one is a kitten I had when I was a child. The second is... Hmm, let's see. A dead elephant. The third is a... Funny. Now let's skip the jokes. Skip the jokes? Hey, Sharpie! Didn't she get my permanent record? Be quiet, clown. Every doctor that has ever interviewed you claims a different type of psychosis. Everything from multiple personality disorders to, well, the list is endless. <laughs> I do my best. Well, I don't believe it. Anything can be cured given the correct treatment. And you think you can cure me? Oh, I know I can. So joke is crazy. And, um, yeah, pretty nuts. So, as I said, guys, I wanted to, you know, do a slow paced video where I just go around talking to people, seeing what's up, seeing if they give any sort of insight to what I need to do, where I may find. You know, you may find a new way of doing it. They might give you some information that makes you think, ah, if I go here first, that would be a new way of doing it. And for upgrades, uh, I will be focusing on the armor upgrades at the moment. And then I'll uh, be moving on to one of the other ones. But yeah, basically, like I said, I will be doing... Uh, the tapes as well, and the no Spirit of Armadale Sarkham. It's cool. It's not cool. Yeah, Joker's it's not cool. Stay alert. Yeah. Joker is a loose. He's going around being a nut job. Okay, that's the armor upgraded. Now we're at armor V one, which for anyone who doesn't know, that means version one. Led to the old pump station. Warden Sharp had it closed down soon after he arrived. Said it was a security risk. Okay. Uh, Riddler trophy. Of course you found that one easy. You were supposed to. Oh really? I was supposed to? I don't think so. So the what's the situation? Do you need any help? Just stay alert, officer. I'll take care of it. So the Joker's free again. So, long story short, Batman has it handled. Which is what he pretty much seems to be telling everyone. Alright, let's go into the mansion and see if it's secure. It's always best to make sure everywhere's secure. Plus, it's interesting to see how Batman reacts to with the people before you actually get to the next part where you know this area will be taken over like the mansion will be taken at some point so talking to this guard is like adding in some cool content where you get to see what it would have been like 
had Batman actually gone over. Which, in this gameplay, he is going over to the mall. I probably won't do absolutely every one I find. I'll probably just skip a couple of them. Just stay alive. But mostly I'll be trying to talk to anyone I can, see if they have any information. And if I remember correctly, there's a spirit of Armadeus Arkham this way. Yep, there it is. So, I will stop talking, let y'all listen. My blood ran through the heart of Gotham. We were doctors, politicians, and teachers. We have been the organ cleaning the arterial filth from the city. We have been its servants, giving all to protect it. And still it has chosen to hurt us. That guy is really, really weird. Some of the stories he comes out with is just crazy. I think one of them he actually kind of mentions the Joker. Another riddle trophy. Wayne Tower. Which clearly can't be scanned from here, so I'll be going upwards. If I can't do it, and then I'll probably just move on, and then I'll do it after I'm done with the video. So I'll go back over it. I won't show absolutely everything anyway. So it's looking like that if it's blurred, it isn't actually going to do it. So we're just going to move on and I'll do that later. But as I said, I probably won't do everything during the videos anyway. I'll probably do any of the little boring stuff another time. Like any of the chattering teeth, the uh, real trophies. If I come across them, I then I'll it. do this them. This place is supposed to be secure. Unfortunately, some of the patients will always try and escape. I'll stop. Them. What's happening? I got a radio call about thirty minutes ago. Told me to come here and wait for more orders. That call saved your life. Stay here. I'll say it saved his life. If he didn't get that call, he would have died with the rest of them. What's the situation in there? Thank God. We lost control of the tunnel. We got split up. Some of my guys are pinned down in there. It's a massacre. Stay pinned here. down, you say? Interesting. It's dangerous down there, Batman. We've got multiple black gates. We've got to hold the firearms. Probably from the guard armor. Thanks for the concern. Well, if they didn't get them from the guard armory, then they would have had to pull them out of thin air. Doesn't seem likely now, does it? We had to pull back out of the tunnel. There are guards still in there. We need to get back in there. Don't worry. I'm going in there and I'm Thanks. getting them out. Let me know if you need backup. Although I'm pretty sure two of them are dead. Yep, two of them are dead. One's still alive. I believe it. They killed Jackson. I'm guessing Jackson is the guy that's dead on the floor in front of him. Because that would be the obvious one. Well, like, let's take these criminals out. Get choked out. You getting choked out. Seems to be Batman's signature move for sneaking up behind people, just choke them out. Get away from my car! And you, and you, and you, and everyone get away from my car! <laughs> Suck it, all of ya! You mess with Batman's car, you get kicked in their face. There's a supply of explosive gel. The explosive the gel, you say? Need it. Well, then let's get it. 
get Golden's trail, then follow it. Harley trashed the Which car. I think it Looks leads like to the medical facility. To search the area around the Batmobile. There could be a clue as to where she took Gordon. Strange. This is Gordon's, Gordon's pipe. pipe. Barbara gave it to him. There's no way he'd leave it. You're right. There's no way he would leave it. As far as I remember, it's a gift from Barbara. Tobacco. Gordon's smarter than he looks. Left me trail to follow. Oracle, I found a pipe. It has your father's initials carved on it. It was a birthday gift I gave him last year. There's no ah, see? Birthday it. gift from exactly. Barbara. He's left me a trail to follow. He's alive, Barbara. Gordon Smart security left us a trail. I'm going to have to find another way All right. to get back on Gordon's trail. The door ahead is locked, so we have to blow up this wall. Create a new path, and then go through the door. What I'll probably do, though, is... I will probably... Yeah, before we go through the door, I'm gonna go back, see if there's anything I missed. Anything I definitely have missed that I remember I will put at the end of the video so it'll be like transition next to next like I said I would okay so another tape enjoy take patient interview 17 Joker remains uncooperative my earlier diagnosis remains true I believe he enjoys his persona too much what's up doc? today I thought we'd try something different oh you make me blush doc I have a girlfriend Dr. Quinzel, I know. I've seen the tapes. I saw what happened. What can I say? I'm a charmer. Anyway, I thought it would be good to talk about your childhood. Oh, ever heard of romance, stuff? I don't give up the goods for free. You'll have to try harder. What are you hiding? Didn't you hear me? You scratch my back, Doc, and, well, I won't have you wrapped in plastic and left in a gutter. And as we go on, obviously we'll be hearing those tapes about him and Harley. And how he, in their eyes, manipulated her. And uh, I think I just saw a riddle trophy, so yep, there it is. And I think there's another Spirit of Armadeus Arkham just up here. Yep, there it is. And enjoy. As Gotham's veins slowly filled with pain and suffering the effects were felt everywhere my father fell first infected by some foul disease my mother lived on but only in a dream i returned to the family home to care for her where she remained in her bed for as long as her body continued to breathe her tears kept me awake at night well, boo-hoo. This guy is really creepy and I'm pretty sure that, yes, now that I remember, it is one of the people that we've already encountered. Which, judging by his voice, y'all probably have guessed who it was straight away. But for those who don't know, We'll find out. Now, I think it's another Spirit of Armadeus Harkoon coming up. There it is. My journey lasted little over a month. Visiting academics in both Metropolis and Keystone, I was exposed to a wealth of new ideas. I began my day returning home in good spirits eager to see my wife and family. I ended it kneeling in their blood, broken fragments of my life, pouring through dripping red fingers. Okay, if that wasn't disturbing enough. He has to end up seeing his family dead or something. No wonder he's so screwed up. 
and why he's involved with the project of Arkham Asylum. Now, I think I remember there's some back here in the previous area, so I'll look around and find those. There should be one in the botanical gardens as well, and I, f I remembered that you can go into the botanical gardens already. There should be one in the graveyard just around here. I'll ignore the guard. I think I already spoke to him anyway. I returned to my work, but I could not shake the pictures from my mind. I should have been repulsed, but I was more eager than ever to find an explanation for why someone would do this. I'm pretty sure there is no explanation for why these criminals do anything. Alright, moving on. Now, as I said, there was... There should be some of the Spirit of Armadeus Arkham in the Botanical Gardens, so we're going to go in there. Plus, we haven't spoke to anyone in there, so I'm going to see what the situation is in there as well. All right, you, what the situation? What's happening out there? Joker's taking control. His crew is running wild. Well, Joker's gone secure. completely mental yeah, yeah. and broke out. out. That's the situation out you? there. No, stay here. I work better alone. Good. Uh, again, I I'm going to have to say not true because he has Robin, which is the little boy, well, a boy running around with him with an R on his chest. They brought the animal before me, shameless and barking like a mad dog. For what felt like days, I endured his boasts. He took pleasure recounting his actions, cataloging his depraved crimes. What should have been revenge turned to pity. This poor dog needed my help. They don't need your help. They just need help. Your idea of help is kill them. Isn't it? Spirit of Artemidaeus Arkham. <laughs> is this gate secure? Batman, you scared me. You're lucky I'm not one of Joker's men. Stay here and keep a lookout. Yeah. Exactly. You're lucky that he wasn't one of Joker's men. Apparently you can't talk to the other guard. Alright, moving on! And I'm pretty sure that's all the ones in this area. So, we'll be moving on and going through the door that we were supposed to go through. And then track Gordon. See where he went. And I'm, I thought I could climb over those. Uh, yeah, so we're going to track down Gordon, see where he is. Pretty sure it's the return of the um, medical facility, I should say. And then I think we basically just uh, take down everyone in there. And then uh, rescue all the doctors that are in there and any civilian patients, which I don't think there are any. Through the door. Pick up Gordon's trail. There we are. Okay, so they went this way. There seems to be some criminals that I'll need to deal with. Which I will. And most likely, I will not be going through the uh, place where they're building this area the uh, visiting center thing yeah I probably won't be going in there to do all that um, therapy for Joker well therapy from Joker Crazy 
Daisies are moving towards the medical facility. What's Joker doing? He's trying to take over the island. Well, Joker piece wants piece. to take over the island like piece by piece, and medicals is next. Medicals is next. Has anyone got Target. The building? <laughs> he was torn apart. Which, to be fair, it now means that his thugs are seconds away from medical care. All right, pick up Gordon's trail again. I think there's chattering teeth outside of the door as well, so I'll do those. All right. Gonna take down all these guys and then go through the door. Hit that and that and that and I'm a badass because I'm Batman. Get out of it. Yes, I can throw them over the edge. And that was a lucky shot. See, that's what you get if you punch Batman even slightly in the face. You know, if you get a lucky shot, it'll just elbow you in the face. Take care of the chattering teeth, go through the door. And see if we can't find Gordon. Daddy. Nope, just Harley. Daddy. Where is Gordon yet? Your you time? Like I don't care. Oh, there he is. Give me Gordon. Harley. Joker! What's he doing here? Now she's going to get yelled at. I'm sorry, Don't Too early for what? Nice to know he can never stay mad at her. Have to find now. Oh, I know another this way. I know another way. It's up on the roof. You just blow the doors in and hey presto. Alright, up we go. Whereas there's up and over, now there's up and through. Up to the roof and through this wall. Apply the explosive gel and stand back or not. There we go, we have gained access to the medical facility. Objective complete. Wrong way. Oh, there it is. Vents everywhere. Certainly convenient for Batman that there's a lot of vents everywhere. Really, he should just flood the room with happy gas anyway, because like he said, it sounds fun. Plus, these criminals would deserve it. And it'd make it a lot easier for Batman. Another riddle trophy. And another shoot upgrade. That's version 3 because I got version 2 earlier. Hmm. I wonder why he needs the doctors. Very odd. He doesn't get sick until the next game. Spoiler alert. For anyone who doesn't know. Alright, here we go. To start it off, signature move. Boom. And I'll probably just blow the rest of them up. Oh, I was going to do it again then. Fine. If I don't get to do it again, I'm going to blow the crap out of this guy. And again, apply explosive gel. 
get out of the way and three two one boom I suppose that doesn't kill them can I do it again and miss my opportunity damn it I was about to press the button just as it went all right got to figure out where they're going what they're doing see if I can take them down she seems okay Gordon's trail goes through this elevator I think we have to save the rest of the hostages first anyway I'm a doctor bat what do you need alright I'm not seeing any opportunities at the moment then again it looks like that guy who's going near the patients might be going into this room over here so if I put explosive gel on top of the ceiling it will fall in on him okay in three two one kaboom <laughs> that works and just glide kick this jackass and then ground take down and of course ah I thought he was on the lower half of it I was gonna try and blow him up Let's see if I can make him fly. Battle rank down, ground take down, done. I'm a doctor. I've just prescribed all your criminals a good old dose of pain. And now we have to talk to this woman. What happened? I don't know what happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds, and the next, armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Did they have anyone with them? They took someone into the elevator. You're lucky to be alive. I couldn't tell who it was. They obviously didn't want to be followed. The elevator if Joker wanted to, he could have killed all of you. Okay here. We'll be fine. What about the others? We heard gunfire. They could be dead. What we others? Go and help. Oh yes, no, the other doctors. Doctor Kellerman, Doctor Penelope Young, Dr. Chen and Doctor Chang. And Doctor Young went to X-ray. Okay, stay here. I'll find the other. Well, doctors. it'll probably be Doctor Young that I save first, because considering that she's the first one on the list. Okay, this is the part of the video, guys, where I will be starting to transition through the stuff that I missed, because I will be ending the video, but I'll do it. It. I will be ending the video on the last one. So, enjoy all the ones I missed. Patient interview 21. Patient's name is Edward Nigma, also known as the Riddler. So, Edward, Warden Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles, Dr. Young. May I test you with one? Very well. What is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally, three legs. A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. <laughs> Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Give it a crutch, it can hobble around on three. You see? It's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. It's not my baby. Taped interview 39. Patient's name is Edward Nigma. At this point in time, I've yet to decide if Mr. Nigma is a suitable candidate for the Titan process. I'd like to talk about your childhood. Miserable. Next. By all accounts, that is where your fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. Very well. My father hated me. 
always called me a moron. I see. I was determined to prove him wrong, so I entered a contest at school. A $20 prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. He kept yelling, you must have cheated! Admit it, you moron! You cheated! I swore I didn't, and he hit me for lying. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. Don't be. He was right. The island changed little over the years. Its reputation was in tatters, but I vowed to fix it. As the buildings were rebuilt, I saw the future. A bright, wonderful future. Take patient interview 20. Joker is more interesting than I originally believed. When Project Titan is operational, I believe Joker will be the perfect test subject. Good afternoon. Today I thought I'd skip back to our previous conversations about your family. Of course. I was born in a small fishing village. I always wanted to join the circus, but my father wouldn't really let me. I don't believe you. My father was a cop. One week from retirement with a mob... I've seen the movie. What are you scared of? Scared? Yes, scared. There's obviously something. Something that made you what you are. What if... What if I'm too scared to remember? It hurts too much. Then I can help you. Let me remind all new residents of Joker and... New brick, metal and paint covered old wounds. Fresh blood was injected into the body. Bright new minds came and all swore to uphold our promises. We all knew we were the ones to fix this city. And the city would thank us. Taped patient evaluation one. Patient name is Victor Zaz. Diagnosed clinically insane after the murder of at least 20 women in the Gotham area. Hello, Victor. I'm Dr. Cassidy. Seeing as this is our first session, let's spend some time getting to know each other. I don't need to know you, Miss Cassidy. Everything is meaningless. Don't you think that's a very negative outlook on life, Victor? You've no doubt read my file. Yes. Yes, I have. It says you come from a wealthy family, that your parents died, and how you lost all the money gambling. And none of it matters. Why do you keep saying that, Victor? Because the only thing that does matter is the mark. Have you seen my work, Miss Cassidy? If you're referring to the marks on your... Of course I mean my tatted marks. And I have a space for yours. Do you want to see where? Okay, guys, I didn't expect there to be criminals here. Plus, I've just got very curious what would happen if I tried to get into the facility before you're supposed to. So I'm going to take these guys out. I'm going to do the chattering teeth that is just uh, in front of the door. Then I'm going to see what happens if I go in there early. Whether the fact that it will let me in early or whether something will come up to stop me. So, let's do this. Shattering teeth. Seems we've got another upgrade available. Ah, so Joker comes up. Remodeling, really? Alright then, transition. Doc, 
I've had doctors poking around in here for years, and no one was as astute, and if you don't mind my saying, beautiful as you. Really? Ah, uh, you're just playing with me. Well, you'll never know, will you? Unless... Unless what? Tell me! Okay, everyone. I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I have been Game Manders. I'll see you on the next video of mine. And this is game over.